Welcome to the blog. Today is Thursday. Uh, it has been a full day of college today and I am now in relaxing, chilling out with the Mac. And I've got a new build in here for the first time. Uh, originally I was using the coils that came with it. I've now put my own coils in it. I've got the resistance down a bit. The original build that was in there had a 0 0.26 ohm. I'm now down to 0 0.2 which is where I like to vape. It's also perfectly safe for the battery to have a 0 0.2. That's a very, very safe uh, resistance to have on this kind of mod so that's what I'm rocking here and as you can see the production is really good and the flavor that I'm getting off it is just really really intense and spot on just what I need what just what you want from mech it's really good and I'm enjoying using this I'm enjoying taking it out of the bag with me the only bit I'm not enjoying is dripping and it's fine when I'm sitting around in the house, when I'm watching a film, when I'm do, studying and I can just go dip and dump. But when I'm out and about and you're trying to drip, it's not the most convenient, it's not great, uh, especially with the wind that we've been having here the last few days. It's been quite windy and dripping in the wind is not the easiest thing to do. But I've still can, kept it up, I've still kept going with it because I'm liking this mod quite a bit. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to put it to one side at some point because I will find the dripping annoying and it will become an in-house vape. But for the minute, I am enjoying, enjoying it a lot. I'm carrying spare batteries with me uh, safely in a container uh, just to make sure that I've got them with me for when it runs. I'm getting through about two or three batteries on this a day because it is being my main mod. Uh, but I've still got the vape pen and the penguin with me as well as alternates, as backups, as driving vapes because I can't really drive with this because uh, you get so long you get dry hit and then you can't drip again so uh, that's another downside to it as a dripper is you can't use it as a driving leak but that said it is a dripper it is a mech that's what you get uh, so what else has been going on uh, college today full day of college yesterday half day of college I'm still working on the spring clean of the house I've still got a lot of study going on so I'm working between the two of them when I'm in the house uh, tomorrow is going to be a full day of work uh, so I'm actually working day shift tomorrow I don't normally do day shift I normally do sort of evenings and weekends but uh, no shifts this week and this option to do a shift came up so I was like yeah no college today I can come in so that's what I'm doing tomorrow is a full day of work I'm not working this weekend uh, and I'm usually normally when I have a weekend off I get my daughter but this week no because I've got this exam coming up I really need to study so that's what I'm doing most of this weekend. It's going to be a study weekend. And that's pretty much it. The rest of this evening, I'm just going to have a chill. I'm going to have a relax. I'm going to have a vape. I might get a bit of study done. I've got some reading to do, so I might do that. Uh, but I am leaving some stuff to do while I'm at work tomorrow because I don't know how busy it'll be. And if it's not too busy, I can get some reading done. So that I might do tomorrow. Uh, other thing that's happened is I've had some vape mail, so that's what we're going to do next. So we have vape mail today, and there might be a bit of an unusual vape mail section here, and that's because of the way this has come. I've just had to nip out to go pick up the package. I was out at the time it came, uh, and it was too big to come through my letterbox. However, when you look at it, you see it's in one of these nice jiffy bags, and that's a nick shot outside the bag, outside the padded envelope. So this has become damaged in the transit, uh, so there might be something missing from here. So let's have a look here. And obviously this is going to be juice because I've got a nick shot in there. Well, I know I've got one nick shot. So now there should be five of these. So there's one nick shot for certain. We know we've got that. But let's have a look and see what else is here. Now I know what I should be getting here. So I can see... Oh boy. Uh, so I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five bottles. So that's five main bottles I've also got Zorro trying to get in so Zorro this is not a good time there we go he's off sorry about the camera wobble there uh, Zorro decided to jump up so I've got my five big bottles of juice so that's good so I've got five big bottles now there should be a total of five nick shots here so I've already got one and we're in luck because there's another one two three four so there's nothing missing thankfully so let's see what we got uh, I was a bit concerned that there might have been something missing from this with the with the uh, with the bag being open there, but luckily it's not. Uh, so let's have a look at the juices. So I've gone to Nova Vapes again, 
and with this selection I've gone for their Rose and Ivy selection. This is five bottles of 60ml, that's 60ml with the next shot included, and it brings it up to uh, five, brings it up to 60 mils, uh, so that's 300 milligram, milliliters of e-juice, and this is for 20 pounds. So the flavors I've got here, this is their Rose and Ivy uh, Tea Time Treat, now that's a kind of custard cream biscuit kind of one. Uh, what else have we got? We've got Mystic Mint Ice Cream, so that's exactly what it says on the tin, so that should be good. Uh, Bakewell Slice, so that's going to be uh, like a Bakewell Tart, Bakewell uh, sort of cake that you get here in the UK, so that should be quite nice as well. We've got Cornflake Crunch, which should be a nice cereal one. And the last one we've got here is Victorian Sweet Chew. So we've got five of these that have come in. I'm going to get these all nicked up. I'm going to give a shot of them on the uh, on the dripper, see what I'm liking, see what's good. And obviously once I've had a chance to have a full vape on all of these, will be a full review coming. Uh, thank God everything is in place. I was kind of wary on that one when the uh, when I seen that the package was open, that there might have been something missing. Luckily nothing missing there. Although I will be dropping an email to Nova Vapes just to say, uh, your packaging was was ripped here, you might want to do something about that. Uh, and in the day this came, I, I didn't open that. That was completely open. So, uh, it doesn't look like any juices leaked at all. It just looks like it's been completely torn open there. So, it, it just looks like a badly made bag. So, uh, it's at the end that is open there. So, yeah. Uh, not good packaging. Really... If you're getting this much juice coming, it should be in a box, uh, just for the sturdiness of it. But I'm looking at the levels of the juice here, it doesn't look like any of them have leaked. It doesn't look like any of the nick shots have leaked, so I don't think it's due to a leakage issue. Uh, it's just poor packaging there, so that is going to be reflected in the re review when I get around to it for these juices. But for now, I'm going to get these juice nicked up. Uh, I've got my next shots, so I can bring all these up to 3mg, I'll get a nice smell of them, I'll get a nice drip test on them, uh, maybe a knuckle test just to see what the flavour, I don't think any of these need steeping, uh, I'll double check, there was a letter that came with it that might say something there for steeping, but I'll double check it and we'll go from there. So that's vape mail for today, i uh, got my wee uh, pen vape again, so I'll come back later on and finish off the vlog. So it's now quite a bit later on in the day, I have been vaping quite a bit, it's pretty vapey in here, it's a bit cloudy going on, and I've had my dinner, I've had a vape, I've tried out all five of those new e-juices that have come in, I've dripped each of them, just to have a taste, I've had a couple of drips of each, uh, just to have a little taste, see what they're like, uh, I've got them all nicked up, they've got 3 milligram nicotine, which is my usual preferred nicotine level, and I've given them a good shake, no steepage needed, so they're all cut, coming in and kicking pretty good. Uh, I've tried them all, uh, sort of the ones that are standing out to me at the minute are the uh, Tea Time Treat, that's the sort of custard cream biscuit one, which is really nice. Uh, the Cornflake Cereal one, which is nice as well, and the one I've got at the minute, which is the Mint Ice Cream, which is kind of a buttery mint taste to it, it's really good as well. Uh, so, it's a nice selection. I've not... There's none in there that I dislike, that I'm finding it hard to vape as yet, but I'm only just starting out with these, I'm only just trying them. And so far I'm liking a lot. But the problem is that I'm going to need to try them in different tanks as well. I can't just rely on the drip for the taste, you've got to try these things out in different devices, see where they are. So at the minute, my pen, which is one of the ones I want to use with, you can see it's half full still. So I'm going to need to vape on that a bit. And the other tank I want to test things in is my Big Baby Beast. That's one of my go-to sub ovens. But as you can see, that is absolutely full at the minute. I actually put a fresh coil in this uh, the other day, filled it up, and then I haven't used it. So this is sitting up. I've fired it a couple of times a day just to make, just keep it running. So I think tomorrow, these are going to be two of my go-to vapes, so I can just get these tank te tanks empty to get them reloaded with the good stuff, uh, with the new stuff, so I can get it tested. So that's probably going to be the vape plan for tomorrow. Uh, go with these two, and obviously the mech's going to come out again, because it is. And I'm going to get these switched over onto the new juice for testing. Uh, so that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's vlog. I'm going to try and do a vlog again tomorrow. I should have time for it. 
possibly another video as well and we'll go from there so all that good stuff all the usual stuff like comment share subscribe uh go follow me on the twitter that's the at one purple mongoose uh patreon www.patreon.com slash purple mongoose and which one will we use tonight i think it's been a while since this has been used so let's do this as ever Fable.